AI has no possibility of doing all of what we do. However, depending on the jobs that we do, sometimes it could do 20% of our jobs, 20% of our work, a thousand times better. The AI race is heating up, and two of the biggest players in the game are NVIDIA and OpenAI. Today, let's dive into how NVIDIA's latest model, Llama 3.1, is giving OpenAI's GPT-40 a run for its money. What's the big deal about AI? Artificial intelligence is everywhere these days. From chatbots that help with customer service to tools that assist in writing and art creation, AI is changing how we live and work. But with so many options out there, how do these models stack up against each other? Have you ever wondered which AI you would trust more for a task? NVIDIA's Llama 3.1 and OpenAI's GPT-40 are two of the most advanced AI models available right now. Both are designed to understand and generate human-like text, but they do it in different ways. NVIDIA's Llama 3.1 is a significant advancement in the field of artificial intelligence, particularly in natural language processing. This model is built on the Meta Llama architecture and boasts an impressive 7 billion parameters, making it highly capable of generating human-like responses across various topics. One of its standout features is its efficiency. Llama 3.1 can produce high-quality content quickly while requiring less computational power compared to many of its competitors. This efficiency is crucial for applications that demand rapid responses, such as customer service chatbots or real-time content generation. The training process for Llama 3.1 utilized over 16,000 NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPUs, which allowed for the handling of massive datasets, over 15 trillion tokens. This extensive training enables the model to understand context better and generate coherent responses. Additionally, Llama 3.1 supports an extended context length of up to 128,000 tokens, allowing it to process long pieces of text effectively. This capability is particularly beneficial for complex tasks that require a deep understanding of context and nuance. Moreover, Llama 3.1 integrates seamlessly with NVIDIA's AI technologies, including the NVIDIA Interface model. This integration enhances its performance in real-world applications by optimizing GPU usage and minimizing latency due to interference. With such capabilities, Llama 3.1 stands out as a robust solution for developers looking to implement advanced AI functionalities in their applications. OpenAI's GPT-40 has gained attention for its impressive depth of understanding and creativity excelling in complex conversations and generating nuanced, human-like responses. Unlike NVIDIA's Llama 3.1, which prioritizes speed and efficiency, GPT-40 focuses on tackling intricate topics and providing detailed explanations, making it valuable in educational and creative fields. However, it requires substantial computational resources, limiting accessibility for smaller businesses or individual users. Despite this, many organizations choose GPT-40 for its ability to generate high-quality content across various applications. Which one is more impressive? When comparing Llama 3.1 and GPT-40, it becomes clear that each model has its unique strengths suited for different applications. Llama 3.1 shines with its speed and efficiency, making it ideal for businesses needing quick responses without sacrificing quality. Its ability to handle large data sets and long contexts allows it to perform well in various scenarios, from virtual assistants to educational tools. On the other hand, GPT-40 stands out for its creative capabilities and depth of understanding. It excels in situations where nuanced conversations are necessary and can generate content that resonates with users on a deeper level. However, the resource-intensive nature of GPT-40 may limit its accessibility for some users. Ultimately, the choice between these two models depends on specific needs and use cases. What features do you think are most important when choosing an AI model? The ongoing advancements in both models will likely continue to shape the landscape of artificial intelligence in exciting ways. When comparing performance, several factors come into play. Speed, accuracy, and versatility. 
Llama 3.1 tends to be faster than GPT-40 in generating responses. This speed can be crucial for applications where time is of the essence, like live customer service support or real-time content generation. In terms of accuracy, both models perform well, but they excel in different areas. Llama 3.1 might be better at straightforward tasks, while GPT-40 shines in more complex scenarios requiring deeper understanding. Llama 3.1 is designed to handle a wide range of topics effectively, making it a great all-rounder. Meanwhile, GPT-40 often provides richer context and specific subjects due to its extensive training data. What kinds of tasks would you use these AIs for? User experience plays a huge role in how these models are perceived by the public. Llama 3.1 has been noted for its user-friendly interface, making it easy for anyone to start using it right away. This accessibility opens doors for users who may not have technical expertise. In contrast, GPT-40 can be a bit more challenging to navigate due to its complexity, but offers powerful features once mastered. Both models have strong communities behind them. NVIDIA has built a robust support system for Llama users, while OpenAI offers extensive documentation and forms for GPT users. Have you ever tried using an AI tool? What was your experience like? Cost is always a factor when choosing technology. Llama 3.1 is generally more cost-effective compared to GPT-40. This affordability makes it an attractive option for startups and smaller businesses looking to leverage AI without breaking the bank. While GPT-40 offers powerful capabilities, it comes with a higher price tag due to its resource demands. This cost can be justified for larger companies that need advanced features but might deter smaller users. Would you pay more for better quality or stick with something cheaper? Both models are being used in various industries today. Businesses use Llama 3.1 for customer service chatbots and content creation because of its speed and efficiency. It helps companies respond quickly to customer inquiries while maintaining quality. On the other hand, GPT-40 is often used in creative industries like writing and marketing, where deep insights are essential for crafting compelling narratives or advertisements. In education, both models have their places. Llama 3.1 can assist students with quick answers to questions or help generate study materials efficiently. Meanwhile, GPT-40 can provide detailed explanations on complex topics that require thorough understanding. What industry do you think benefits most from AI technology? The future looks bright for both NVIDIA and OpenAI as they continue to innovate in the AI space. NVIDIA plans to enhance Llama further by improving its learning algorithms and expanding its training data sources. This will likely increase its capabilities and maintain its competitive edge. OpenAI aims to refine GPT-40 by focusing on reducing resource demands while enhancing performance. This balance could make it more accessible without sacrificing quality. Also, there were some notable appreciations from famous personalities for Llama 3.1. Elon Musk recently praised Mark Zuckerberg for the release of Meta's Llama 3.1, highlighting the significance of its open-source nature. In a tweet responding to a post by former Tesla AI director Andrzej Kapathy, Musk stated, It is impressive, and Zuck does deserve credit for open-sourcing. This acknowledgement marks a rare moment of goodwill between the two tech giants, who have had a history of rivalry and public disagreements. Musk's comments reflect the growing recognition of the importance of open-source AI models in advancing technology and making it accessible to a broader audience. Andre Karpathy has also expressed support for Llama 3.1, emphasizing the model's potential impact on innovation in the AI field. While he did not tweet directly about Llama 3.1, his discussions surrounding the model have been influential within the tech community. Carpathy congratulated Meta on the release and highlighted its capabilities, contributing to the positive discourse around open source AI initiatives. His insights underscore the value of collaboration in AI development and the need for diverse models to foster creativity and progress in technology. What advancements do you hope to see in AI technology? The race between NVIDIA's Llama 3.1 and OpenAI's GPT-40 highlights the exciting developments in artificial intelligence today. 
Each model has unique strengths that cater to different needs, whether it's speed and efficiency or depth and creativity. As technology continues to evolve, keeping an eye on how these models adapt will be fascinating. Which one do you think will come out on top in the long run? Share your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.